Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button and also like this video. It actually helps my channel. This is for the sign of Earth. So uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is a collective me message or uh, reading for 2022. Now, if you want a private session, if you want to book with me, uh, a session or a reading it will be linked down below also have online badanica if you want to shop with me and my tarot deck it will also be linked down below if you want to um, sign up on my patreon for monthly spells and rituals mainly focusing on self-love and money that will also be linked down below as well so let's get into earth signs for March 2022 collective earth Everybody got the five of swords. Okay, the bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles. So earth signs, the cards that came out for you is the five of swords, the knight of pentacles, the queen of swords, this is the Emperor, the Strength card, and the Empress card. So what I'm seeing for you, Earth signs, is that there's some sort of mis- Everyone is getting a lot of miscommunication, so I do feel like this collectively, Earth, Water, Air, and Fire, there's a lot of miscommunication. Also, someone is coming- I, I'm gonna curse, so please. Someone's coming up as a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but someone is coming off as a bitch. Someone is coming off very bossy. Someone is coming off um, very rude. Um, I don't know if this is you, Earth sign, but or this is maybe someone around you, but someone is coming off very rude or very selfish or very self-serving. And I do feel like someone is kind of like lashing out on people around them. I don't know if this is you again, Earth sign, or someone maybe possibly doing this to you. Now this may be in the workplace, maybe your boss is acting like a complete bitch, or maybe possibly like there may be an, a coworker, but I'm, I am seeing that there is like some sort of bitchy or some sort of catty energy in the workplace. I'm also seeing that you may be coming off very intimidating um, or I do feel like these are going to start falling into your lap, but I do feel like you're coming off very intimidating or you may be coming off very cold or maybe possibly detached. So just be mindful of that, that you're not putting out that energy. Maybe it is good, a good way to put out that energy in the workplace. Maybe you have a competitive workplace. So maybe you're just like, okay, well, I have to be this way because, you know, it's the type of job that I have. I need to uh, exert my power or my authority over people around me so that they don't feel like I'm weak or say that I'm weak or see me as a weak component or a weak coworker. So maybe that is what's going on. <sighs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> so um, what I'm also seeing is that there is like slow moving energy. If you are dealing with a Leo, um, this may be Aries or Sagittarius. I am seeing that there's someone that may be coming towards you. Now, there may be a fire sign woman coming towards you, but this is someone that is very re reactionary or very impulsive. I'm also seeing this is someone that's coming off very seductive. So someone may be trying to lure you or trying to, they're coming off as temptation, but I feel like it's more so lustfully. Someone wants their way with you, Earth sign. <laughs> Some of them want, want you sexually. Um, so I feel like that maybe was, was maybe going on. Um, I'm seeing that this is also someone that may be very vocal as well in, in bed. So if this is female coming towards you, this is someone who is going to exert their sexuality. Um, if you are a male, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, if you are a woman, <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, there may be someone that may be coming towards you, which is possibly someone who has a little bit of more fire energy like yourself, and then they're wanting to kind of have their way with you. So let's see. I'm saying that someone is having some sort of miscommunication with their soulmate or someone that they deem their soulmate. 
someone is also deciding to cut off a soulmate because maybe because i feel like we have more than one soulmate so we have a soul tribe so maybe you know this person that you thought was your soulmate is a soulmate but they're not supposed to be romantically in your life in that way so it may not be a romantic Someone may also have found out that they were possibly in some sort of third party or love triangle. So that's why they decide to kind of cut this person out. There may have been some sort of dishonest energy going on. Someone may have found out some sort of truth during some sort of um, either a dream that they may have had. Someone may have, may have had a dream that one of their partner, well, not one of their partner, I mean, maybe Polly. Um, but I'm feeling like someone had a dream that their partner was cheating on them and that's how they kind of like decided to kind of like, you know, snoop around maybe and then, you know, they were cheating. So there is something about some sort of confirmation um, about something about something that someone may have intuitively felt. So I'm seeing that there's going to be some sort of confirmation about something that you may have already felt within. I'm doing a night of pentacles. Hopefully my camera doesn't go out again. Let's see, Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of unexpected um, something. There's something that's going to be revealed, some sort of truth that's going to be revealed. Someone may also realize that, that they may have spent a lot of time and energy into a relationship that was built on lies, unfortunately. Um, I'm also seeing that out of the blue, someone is going to come and tell you a secret or you are going to, something that you may, may have been possibly holding on to, you may blur out and I do feel like it's going to kind of have some sort of like a ripple effect um, around you. I do feel like whatever secret you may be holding on to, I do feel like there is a little bit of like paranoia. So someone may be coming off very paranoid. I'm also saying that someone is having a hard time holding in some sort of secret and I feel like there's going to be some sort of combustion. Like someone is going to kind of of like combust because they are holding on to something that they may be trying to get off their chest for a very long time and i do feel like there is a little bit of pressure on on one's shoulder and i do feel like someone is is spilling some tea like someone is just kind of just like ready to kind of say their truth so let's look at the queen of swords Okay, your finances look really good. There's an opportunity coming in for you financially that is going to stabilize your finances. I'm also seeing that there may be some sort of business proposition that's going to be given to you as well. Someone may be possibly wanting to go into business with you. So there's a lot of cards or movement with your, your, uh, your finances. And I also feel like there is also possibly some sort of reconciliation as well. Something that you may have prayed for, wished for, subconsciously manifested is coming into fruition for you. I do feel like this is also like you, are, someone may be possibly cutting their hair or changing the color of their hair as well. Um, because I am seeing that someone is wanting some sort of new look or some sort of makeover. Um, someone is just wanting a different Someone wants something different, and I feel like it's going to be very empowering or invigorating. So let's look at the Empress. Be careful that there's not someone that may be possibly gossiping behind your back, or they may also be putting out false information about you and having people look at you differently because I'm seeing that as well. Let's see the Empress. Alright. I feel like someone 
somebody's also if you're in a relationship I feel like somebody's bored one of the, one of one of the, the people in the relationship is completely bored someone is also lusting the, who who isn't in a, in a connection already is lusting someone is also watching a lot of yeah i know what i'm Um, and I feel like someone is like kind of like getting off. I don't know how that came up, spirit. This is so <laughs> but someone is kind of just like it's a lot of lustful energy, and it's also someone that is maybe possibly pleasing themselves, or they're maybe thinking of somebody else and pleasing themselves, or they again it's a it's a it's a form of t temptation, or a, uh, someone maybe possibly having some sort of addiction with that, you know. Um, cause I'm seeing that someone is just unfulfilled with their partner. So they're kind of like looking for exterior ways to kind of please themselves. And that could be like, it doesn't have to be sexual. It can be a massage. It could be anything, but it's more so physical. Like someone is doing something to kind of like get their rocks off. Oh God. So uh, these are uncomfortable messages. So let's look at the strength card. And then we'll do the last card, which is the emperor. So strange. Yeah, someone is re also resisting some sort of connection. If you're in a relationship, someone may be resisting um, the other person because I feel like they may be possibly upset with them and the other person doesn't know what they did. <laughs> They're like, what did I do? And like, you know what you did. So <laughs> why are you acting stupid? So I feel like there is a little bit of like having to speak up. So if you feel something or if you're, you're upset with your partner, it is saying for you to kind of speak up. Also, it is saying that there is going to be some sort of like resurfacing of an ex or something that you are maybe possibly involved with. With a judgment card here, it is saying that there may have been some sort of decision. Um, I do feel like you also, Capricorn, may have to make some sort of decision between two people as well. Um, it may be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn like yourself or a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there's two lovers or two opportunities coming into your life where you're going to kind of choose from. And I do feel like it's more so love. Now, you may be very resistant towards these, these two opportunities coming towards you. And then I feel like you're going to kind of like explore and kind of just like date around and see um, who you like the best. But I do feel like there's going to be a little bit of resistance on your end because you may not trust people very easily. So you're very shut, like kind of stand offish or you've been hurt before and you're kind of like maybe possibly not ready, but you're just still trying to dip your toe in the dating game. Let's do the Emperor, which is the last card. Oh God, it's not a card. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, since the Emperor, okay. I'm saying that a lot of you are going to have some sort of abundance and some sort of prosperity. So I am seeing that there is, again, wish fulfillment. And I do feel like things are going to go in your favor. I'm also saying that there is going to be some sort of expansion. And I do feel like this is long term. A lot of people may be trying to, well, a lot of you may be trying to um, invest in property. Or there's some sort of side hustle that you're possibly trying to get in. Maybe it's Airbnb. Maybe it's like, you know, flipping homes. Um, maybe this is like you, you know, renting out a space. So I do feel like there's a little bit of you guys doing that and also trying to be a little bit more business savvy and trying to find more sources of income. So I feel like more so from March 2022, I feel like you guys are finding other ways to make, because you're, you're realizing that one hustle is not enough. You have to have more, multiple hustles. So I feel like that is what may be possibly going on. So this is pretty much all that I'm seeing for you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I love you guys so much. If you would like to book a full reading or private session, it'll be linked down below. I also have an online botanica if you want to shop with me and get my tarot cards. It will be linked down below. I do spells and rituals on my Patreon, more so self-love and money rituals. So if you want a ritual or want to join us every month, manifesting money and self-love it will be linked down below thank you guys so much make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys